Hello everybody and welcome back to this video. Whether you're watching this on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, I have a very sobering message for you. If you are an entrepreneur or a career woman, corporate America, whatever field you are in, if you do this one thing, I promise you it will change the trajectory of everything. If you do this one thing, I promise you, you will have the life that you want. You'll be able to manifest the life that you want. You'll be able to go after your dreams and finally have the success that seemed unattainable. Literally, because I was doing this one thing and I was so afraid and so attached and so addicted to this one thing, I was not able to fulfill my dreams. I was sitting on it. Better yet, I wasn't sitting on it. I was watching my dreams die. I looked at it day in and day out and it just seemed so unattainable. It seemed so far away and the dream reminded me of what I did not do yet. The dream reminded me of what I didn't start yet. The dream reminded me of what I have been unproductive in. It reminded me of how lazy and procrastinate I had been. It's almost like um, the story in the Bible where they the one guy that had the one talent hid it in the ground and he just buried it and he thought that he was doing a good thing. A lot of us think because we are not doing our dreams, operating our vision and doing what God has called us to do or whatever the case may be, that we're doing a good thing. At least I'm not making any errors. At least I'm not making no mistakes. At least I'm not because uh, one thing that for me was I was afraid to get out there and start speaking because I didn't want to lead anybody in the wrong way because I knew I wasn't perfect. But I finally embraced the fact that I may not have it all together, but I'm finally being me and I'm letting my voice be heard and I'm sharing my gift with the world. But it wasn't until I stopped doing this one thing that my life completely changed. I had been unctioned for, I say, months to do this. And I was like, mm, nah, I'm gonna need that. I might get bored. I might need that to fall back on. But how many of us know even drinking too much of the good of the Drinking too much of a good thing can kill us. Too much of a good thing can kill us. Too much rest can not even kill us, but it'll kill your dreams. Too much rest can make you uh, give up on the vision. Too much rest can just make you pervert the thing that you really want. Stop watching the thing that you really want go by day after day and not accessing, not investing in it, not building it. Listen. Doing this one thing. Okay, Tierra, you've said this a thousand times. What's the one thing that I need to stop doing? Turn the TV off. Simple. Simple. Simplistic. Turn the TV off. Now, for me, I couldn't just turn it off. I needed to unplug that bad boy take down what was keeping me from doing what I wanted to do, take down what was keeping me from having the life I wanted, take down what was keeping me from success that is in me. I had to unplug my Roku stick, my fire stick, unplug the TV, put those in a separate drawer, but I couldn't just leave the TV up there. I had to take the TV down and I put it in my closet away. I put away the thing that was keeping me from my dream. There's scriptures that says lay down every weight and every, um, lay aside every weight and every temptation and anything that may ensnare you. Lay it, put it aside, put it away. And that's exactly what I did. I did not know how effective it was going to. I didn't know the things that I can get done until I did that one thing. I had no idea of all that was in me, all that is being revealed to me right now because I put the TV away. That's the one thing that God had been urging me to do for a long time. He was like, I'm not gonna tell you why and what you're gonna be able to do before you do it. No, I tell you to do it and then I'll show you. Are you gonna obey me in this? Literally, put the TV down. Let me tell you what has happened since I took that joker down. I have created a brand. I have created a logo. I have set up my store. 
I have been working consistently on my Instagram. If you are an entrepreneur right now, this is the optimal time for us. Right now is not the time to be sitting in our bed, binge watching TV. Binge watching shows that you wouldn't have a chance to catch up on. How about you catch up on them dreams? How about you catch up on that vision? How about you catch up on the things that we let die? We watch die. We watch struggle. We watch become entangled by the customs and the culture of this world. How about we focus on that? Binge watch that. Catch up on that. Look, I promise you, I had no idea what my life could become. I am discovering me. I am healing my wounds. I am growing closer to God. I remember a long time ago, I would watch TV. Like, I had an addiction. I'm just telling you, I had an addiction to TV. Addiction gave, it gave me rest. It was what gave me relief when I was sad or upset and wanted to escape from the world. I did it with television and I didn't even go to God, which he wanted me to come to him. But the point is, um, I was like, God, I don't have time to spend with you. Like, I can't find the time. He was like, don't find the time, make the time. But you had time to watch Power. You had time to do all these other things. So I'm telling you, you have time to watch TV, Grey's Anatomy, All American, Love is Blind. You have all of this time during this quarantine and you're going to use it and not even use it. You're going to waste this time. We should not, a lot of us, yeah, a lot of us ain't coming out with a book. A lot of us ain't coming out with a business. A lot of us may not be coming out with new new skills and different things during this quarantine but for those that this time is applying to you need to leave this quarantine better than how you came in you need to do self-development right now if you see the dream right now the dream seems so like an idea you don't only have to dream with your eyes shut dream with your eyes open that's called vision it may seem small, seem like it may not even seem small. It seems too big for me to do. The best way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time. One bite at a time. Hey, one bite at a time. One bite at a time. One bite at a time. You may see the whole big picture, but take it one bite at a time. If you want to be a fashion designer, you want to design clothes and design uh, new collections and new designs to set the world ablaze. What should you do first? Perfect the craft. You need to be on YouTube every single day learning the craft. You need to be looking, Harvard right now for business owners, they have courses for free right now for people. Harvard, Yale, um, Howard, all have classes right now. If you want the information, if this is on Facebook or Instagram, go in the description or the comment section and say, let me know the information. And this is YouTube, put it in the comment section. They have courses right now. Do what needs to be done in order to get there. Go into the future. See the big picture. What can you do today to make that dream your reality? First thing first, turn off that TV. Put it down if you need to. Take it out of your house. Put it in your basement. It's a distraction and it's keeping you from what you really, 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 really want. You don't have what you don't want because you can't do it. You don't have what you want because you got, you're so consumed in what is pleasing your flesh and what's satisfying you right now. That's why. So my action for you to do for the next 21 days, or if this is released tomorrow, for the next 20 days, take it down and not even grind. We don't grind, we live in the grace. We don't grind, we don't hustle, we live in the grace. Figure out what it is, grace yourself in it. Go on Amazon, you're spending your money anyways, so go get go on Amazon and figure out, um, um, go on, what I need you to do on Amazon? Buy the sewing machine, buy the resources, buy the tools, invest in you, find a mentor, do whatever you gotta do to figure out how to make your craft better, how to master your craft, get the training on it, sign up for courses, Perfect. Right now is the time for perfection while we're developing in the dark when nobody can see us. Because when this time is over, you're going to go ablaze. And people are going to be like, well, how you, how you went from that to that? Because during this time, I was working. I was putting in the work. So that when it was time to be released, I had things to release and not trying to bum fumble. Finish that business plan. Finish that book. So long we have been saying, I don't have enough time. Make the time for your dream. Make the time for your dream. I had no idea what I was going to be able to get done during this time. 
No idea. I'm about to, I'm working on a program. I'm working on a workbook. Listen, a brand. What is it that you would that you have not had time for for the longest? You got the time now. This is every entrepreneur's dream right now for the whole world to slow down so I can catch up and get ahead and blaze where I am. So I hope that that was encouraging for you. I'm sorry for the, I was really passionate about this thing because I didn't want to tell anybody, but I really felt the urge to let you know what you should do during this time. Take that TV down, take down that idol, take down what's keeping you, that's keeping you from your dream and the life you want, okay? So I love you guys. If you want any other content, let me know what you, what you want to hear from me. Put it in the comment section below and let's show the world Let's let the world hear us roar. Let's let the world hear us express ourselves, And let's make the best of this time. Go after it. Love you guys. Bye.